Okay, what we're going to talk about now is the differences in the AFB Carter Marine carburetors uh, on the Chrysler engines. All right, this carburetor right here uh, fits the small block. This is a 9263S. Okay, the number is located right here on this foot. You can read it 9263S. The number to the left is a date code. Normally, there's a tag that's on this bolt right here. Uh, this one's missing. Uh, this is one we just recently rebuilt for a customer. All right. This is a 9264, okay? This is what the 440 used uh, in the time period. So 9264, this one still has a tag. You can see it, 9264. And the 2662 is the date code. This carburetor was manufactured on the 266th day of 1982. And right here, that's the, where the stamping is. Okay, they're a little bit different, all right? The first of all, the big block one has a five inch air horn. Okay, so it's bigger than the small block. Small block is four inches. There's five inches, just to give you an idea. Okay, the small block over here, the 9263, is four inches. Okay, so the flame resistors do not interchange. Uh, the other thing to note is the fuel inlet position. On the small block, it's over here on the left side. Okay, on the big block, it's on the right side. Okay. So that's where it's tapped. The other thing to note is the choke setup. On the big block, all right, it has a different choke mechanism. The choke has a separate shaft where it connects right here, okay? You see it's got a shaft over the secondaries with a little linkage right here that connects actual to the choke butterfly, okay? Uh, this carburetor, you probably could put the electronic choke kit on. Uh, because it has that shaft and you need. We'll explain that more in a minute. The small block carburetor does not have that extra shaft. You can see that it's not drilled for it. All right, small block on the right, big block on the left. See, extra shaft here, small block, no go. Okay, so it would be impossible to put the electronic choke conversion kit that Edelbrock makes on the small block carburetor. Okay, it's just not going to work. You can't hook it up to here. All right. Now, we'll move on to the Edelbrock. This is the 1409 carburetor, okay? This is the 625 CFM for uh, small blocks. This is a universal calibration, okay? Couple changes. Yes, it does have a integral automatic choke, okay? You can see the linkage, how it's hooked up. It goes to the secondary linkage, kind of like the big block carburetor, okay? It has a 3 8 inch fuel nut. Now, the thread, I thought it was 3 quarter uh, 16, I could be wrong, uh, but that fuel nut interchanges between the original one. So when I say, hey, if you want to buy a 1409, you know, take the original fuel fitting out of the carburetor and screw it in here. That way you could use the same line. Obviously on small block only, big block, you're going to have to make a new fuel line because it's on the other side originally. Uh, the other thing to note is there's no PCV port right here. It's, it's there, but it's not drilled, okay? It's not drilled through here, and it's not drilled on the underside. You can see it's set up to be drilled, but it's not, okay? So you would have to modify your carburetor. The Chrysler Marine AFBs always had PCVs that I've ever seen. You can see it right here on the small block. It's the same thing here on the big block, all right? If I take this out, you can see that it's drilled right there, okay? So that's something you're gonna have to modify. Um, I've seen guys put these on and leave the PCV not even hooked up. That's fine. I don't recommend that. The other thing is the carb linkage, okay? The carb linkage is just a little bit different. You can modify it and make it work. You can see right here that it's just got a flat metal piece. The Marines, all right, have a little bit different setup, okay? So, but that's probably the least of your worries. That's the big block. Here's the small block, very much the same. Okay, now I happen to have a Weber here we're overhauling uh, for a customer to show you some internal differences. This happens to be off a of Merc Cruiser big block, but it's basically the same as the 1409 or the 1410 Edelbrock. The big difference inside is the accelerator pump. The Webers use a rubber accelerator pump, which is actually pretty nice, probably one of the big changes. The original AFBs use leather. Okay, this is an original AFB style pump. You can see it's leather. Uh, that's how it works, okay? They, in later years, when they redesigned them, they, they did that change. Also, the jetting. There's been some questions about jetting. Will they work out of the box? Yes, they will work out of the box. 
but to give you guys an idea, over the years I've wrote down uh, jetting on the certain part numbers. So for instance, on the 9263, which is a small block, you can see the original primary jets were 105, the secondaries were 86, and there's the metering rods. It's a stepped rod, so the high step is 60 thousandths, the small step is 53. 9264 is the big block. You know, look, actually the primary jets are a little bit smaller uh, in a big block carburetor, if you can believe that, but that's what engineering did. So just because it's a big block doesn't mean it's always getting, you know, bigger jets, for instance. Um, the 6212 carburetor is the older 318, 360, probably in the early 70s. Um, you can see the jetting is pretty similar to a 9263, which was the late 70s uh, up until 85, until they quit making the, the Carters when Carter basically went out of business and they switched to quadra jets. Um, the 3660, uh, or excuse me, 3213, uh, that's an old uh, 318 Chrysler. That's the one that does not have an idle screw uh, or an idle stop screw. It's actually got a screw where the PCV port is to adjust air for idle speed. Uh, real early Chrysler's 273s, early 318s, the 66 and back 318 uh, use that carburetor part number. And I only have 1409 specs here. You can see the 1409 has a 98 thousandths primary jet from the factory, a 101, and metering rods. All right, they're, it's a little bit richer, but these are universal calibrations. Carter, when they came back in the 90s, they also made uh, an Edelbrock style version. That part number was a 9641. That was, you could purchase that in the 90s uh, as a replacement too, but Edelbrock pretty much took that over and Carter basically out of that. Uh, but you can see that uh, they were very similar, just a small metering rod difference, believe it or not. Uh, or excuse me, small secondary, uh, the secondary jets were different. Um, the choke, okay, this is what a choke housing looks like, all right? This choke housing uh, is what that choke kit is, all right? So uh, the other thing is on the Edelbrock, or like I say, this happens to be off Mercury's, but the same thing. You can see that this port here is vacuum. The choke pull-off is integral to the choke housing. There's a piston, uh, my thumb's in the way, but see that piston right there? And then I'm moving up and down. Vacuum through this port, okay, when you start the engine, is the choke pull-off action. That's what pulls this down a little bit and opens up the valve or the, the uh, choke butterfly so it gives it some air so it doesn't run too rich, okay? If you wanna put that choke on a carburetor uh, like off the Chrysler, you would have to remove the uh, nipple. There's a small nipple there where the choke pull-off hose goes in. It's doable. It's not, you know, uh, mission impossible, but I mean, it, it'd be a lot of push-ups, you know. So um, obviously these two carburetors here were calibrated for their respective engines. Uh, back when Chrysler engineers designed and engineered these engines, uh, these are the jets that they felt and the calibration that they felt uh, would be most sufficient for most boating applications. When you buy this carburetor right here, uh, it is a good carburetor, but it's a universal calibration. And yes, generally speaking, it runs fine. Um, but again, the word universal here, I wanna stress on that. So, in review, if you wanna buy this carburetor and for a small block, you know, you're gonna have to buy a different flame rester. This takes the big wide flame rester Big block, big wide flame rester. So if you buy a 1410 750 carburetor for a big block, you don't have to change flame resters. But on the small block, you can see it's smaller. So it's just more expense. You know, PCV valve, you know, uh, fuel inlet, you know, swap that out. Uh, like I say, it's doable, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, I just wanted to give uh, you guys some explanation on the differences and why they do what they did. Uh, over the years, so it's just uh, a matter of opinion.